I'm Rudy Winston from Canon USA. If you either own or are considering stepping up to a Canon EOS 77D, and you're primarily a still image photographer, the next few minutes may help you add video to your visual repertoire. We'll actually have two separate episodes, one covering the basics, and a second where we'll give you a deeper dive into the video control you have with the 77D. Video in a digital SLR isn't new, but this camera's excellent still image and video potential make it a versatile multimedia creation tool. Let's start with a few basics. The EOS 77D lets you shoot full HD 1080p video at up to 60 frames per second. Full HD is still the most popular high resolution file type for online content, and at 60 frames per second, movement you record will have a very smooth character to it. You can also shoot at slower frame rates, such as a web standard 30 frames per second, or even 24 frames per second for a distinct cinema look. And you can shoot smaller video files for quick uploading to websites at either 720p HD or the VGA settings, which are traditional standard TV resolution at 480p. It's all in the red shooting menu once you've activated video. To do that, just move the main on-off switch to the video position, indicated by the little movie camera icon. That's it. The camera is now ready to record video. Start recording by pressing the small back button with the red dot icon, and a red dot appears on screen to indicate live recording. Press it again to stop recording. If you want, there's a menu setting in the fourth red shooting menu to change the shutter button's operation and make it start and stop video recording when you fully press it. But by default, unless you activate this, video start stop is with the small back button. When you record video, you always view and compose your scenes with the camera's LCD monitor. Let's look at this for a moment. First, you can adjust the angle of the monitor to nearly any position that's comfortable, since the EOS 77D uses a very angle design. And the grip section of the camera is larger and allows more stable hand holding than previous lightweight Canon EOS cameras. This is a touchscreen LCD monitor, and that really makes video recording a lot easier. You can tap the screen to tell the camera where you want it to focus, or to refocus on a new part of a scene. And just tapping the Q icon on the upper right corner of the screen can quickly access common camera settings. Do that and icons appear to let you change your focus method, change to a different video resolution, turn movie digital IS on or off, and even change image control features like your white balance and picture style settings. Tap the return icon or lightly press the shutter button halfway to return to the full video screen. There's also the actual camera menu, which you can access with a press of the menu button. This is where you can perform more detailed video settings. You may have used earlier digital SLRs for video and come away feeling that focusing was a lot more like work than fun. But Canon's dual pixel CMOS AF is a technology that turns that upside down. Focus is smooth, quick, and maybe most importantly, positive. It doesn't have to hunt back and forth to find sharpness. And if you just tap the LCD monitor where you want focus to be, it responds quickly. And here's an important point. If the camera refocuses, for example, from near to far, it deliberately does this smoothly and more gradually than you'd see if you shoot still images. The idea is that refocus has a smooth, almost cinema look and not a rapid, jarring appearance. Let's look at the controls you have to set it up the way that works best for you. The first and maybe most important AF control for video is whether you want continuous focusing, especially with moving subjects. This is with Movie Servo AF. Movie Servo AF is set in the traditional shooting menu in the fourth red menu screen. If set to enable, 
the camera will expect to continually refocus on new subjects before and during actual video recording. And here's a cool feature. Even with the continuous Movie Servo AF active, if you tap the little Movie Servo AF icon on the bottom left of the screen, it suspends the continuous AF, and you'll see the focus box on screen turn gray. This can really be nice for situations where you want focus to stay put as you move the camera or as something moves in the scene. Tap it again to immediately resume continuous AF. This can really be helpful if you're working on a tripod. Another way to momentarily lock focus when Movie Servo AF is active is just to press the shutter button halfway down. The camera will immediately return to continuous active AF when you let go of the shutter button. The second fundamental AF control for video with all Canon EOS cameras is AF method. It's simply how large an area the camera will use to focus. Three choices are available and you can get to them by just tapping the Q icon on screen and then tapping the AF method icon at the top of the screen's left side. Live one point AF means you'll use a single focus point to tell the camera where to focus. This gives you the most precise control over what the camera focuses on. The AF point appears on screen and you can tap the screen at any time to refocus on something else. One minor note, if you turn off Movie Servo AF, you'll see the size of the AF box on screen become smaller. Now, if you move it to a different part of the scene, you can make faster changes from one area to another. But to have focus actually change, you'll need to press the shutter button halfway down. That wouldn't be necessary if Movie Servo AF was enabled. Smooth Zone AF is the next choice. Now, your AF area is a larger cluster of AF points, which you can move around the screen by either tapping on a new area or dragging the outer rectangle with your finger. Normally, the camera will try to put sharpest focus on the nearest subject within the large zone. Face Detect Plus Tracking is the final option. With this, focus can take place over a much larger area, covering most of the entire scene. You'll see a large white framed area showing you the active area for AF. And if faces are detected, the camera will immediately put a small box around the most prominent face in the scene. Notice the small arrows on this little box? Press either the left or right of the quick control dial and you can reposition this on another face in the scene. And if no faces are visible, the camera reads the entire large area and will try to put sharpest focus on the nearest part of the scene. Again, if Movie Servo AF is active, the EOS 77D will continually update focus using this entire large area. And again, you can lock the Movie Servo AF by either pressing the shutter button halfway or tapping the Movie Servo AF icon. So that covers the basics of recording video with the EOS 77D. In our next episode, we'll look more closely at some of the finer settings you can make during video to get the look you want. For Canon USA, I'm Rudy Winston. Thanks for joining us.